afternoon or good morning, depending on what time you watch this video. I'm Josh with Badass Buggy Builders. Welcome back to our channel. Um, today, we're doing a product review on some friend of ours from uh, A and UTV Pro. We'll put a link in the description to their website down below. And we'll also put a link into the for this right here, the product we're getting ready to open. It is a turbo hood scoop. This is a 2020 model Polaris Razor XP1000 also known as the Blue Donkey. Probably seen it on some videos before. Uh, but it is, it is a turbo, uh, it's a turbo hood scoop, so it's gonna have the, the vent up here for the, for the air intake. Doesn't need it, because uh, this is a non-turbo model. It's just a regular XP1000. But as you noticed, if you've seen in previous videos, I've done a complete decal delete on this thing. This is the last of my stickers here, here, and here. It's the last of my decals on this thing. Uh, and they are starting to peel off a little bit. So what I'm going to put in, I'm going to open this box up here. We'll do a package opening here. For those of you that may be new to our channel, if you don't mind, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. All that good stuff. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. We'll give you some shout outs and all that good stuff. If you can hit us some comments up in our comment section. But this is our opening. Ooh, ah, all that good stuff. This should be a fairly simple install. There you go. So it's, we're going to replace this factory hood, which is plastic, but it's got a texture plastic to it. Um, and I'm going to do a complete finish my decal delete on all this machine. This is the last thing I got, like I said. And I'll put a new Polaris thing here. But this is a smooth, bring it up closer to the camera here. This is a smooth finish. So if I put a decal in here, I'm going to put either the blue donkey that you see on the door, or our logo, our Badass Buggy Builder logo in there. Uh, if you want to, click down there on the comment section and leave which one you think we should do. But anyway, the only thing we gotta do is take this off. We do have to reuse these lock pins, so I will show you how to get those out in a second. And then, yeah, it's dirty underneath there. Most of the time it stays dirty. That's some where the pressure washer will quite get to. There you go. Now, I do need to wash that because the old one came up a little further, but there it is. I will show you how to get them lock pins out here just in one second. All right, so all you do take this out. I've already taken that one, taken that one out. All you do take this out, turn it over, push this pin, this knob, this lock pin, back through there. And then this, we just pull right out and do the exact opposite in reverse to put them back in on the new one. New hood scoop. Okay, pretty simple to get back in. All you gotta do, be careful not to scratch the hood, is get it started. It's nothing more, nothing more than just a thick grommet. You can push them. If you need to, you can use a screwdriver or something to kind of push it on in there. Come this side, peel it up, make sure it all comes through. There it is, all through there. I took a big screwdriver. Let's go through there, make sure it's all in there. Make sure the holes wall are up and up all the way. We take a little bit of soap, don't dish detergent, palm olive, whatever, a little soap. Kind of like seating a tire. A little bit of soap right around that hole. That's gonna wash off when you first time you wash it anyway. That will make this thing go in there a lot easier. You just push that back through there. Just like so. There it is. That's done. Bring you over here. Yes, that is dirty. Yes, it is dirty underneath there. You can see my aftermarket fuse box on there as well. Now, let's see if it goes back on there easily. It's always a little gimmick to get them things lined up, isn't it? There it goes. Locks in, locks in, done deal. I need to clean that up a little bit right there. I need to clean this up a little bit right here. I'm gonna take the old Polaris go off of this you 
can heat these up a little bit and peel that off and put it back on there, put it right on there. And then, like I said, this is a smooth finish. So a new logo decal should fit right in there nicely. Um, like I said, hit us in the comments. Tell me whether you think we should put another blue donkey right there or the Badass Buggy Builder logo right there. Other than that, so there you go. Uh, as far as the difficulty at install level, uh, I'd say this is a one. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. It does give you a little more air intake up here. Um, not sure how much good that does for a non-turbo model, but it does give you a better look. And like I said, it helps with the delete kit. It totally takes off these decals here, here, and here. So those decals are not going to be on there now. Um, anyway, please be sure to like and subscribe. Please stop saying don't forget to like and subscribe. Sure, but how are we going to get followers on this? Just a couple comments down below if you need to, if you got any questions or anything about anything else we do as well. I'd give this as far as a review. I mean, easy install, nice and smooth plastic. It'll have to wash up and shine up real easy. So I give it a 10 as far as a review. Good heavy duty plastic. But anyway, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you got all the notifications. And uh, give us a thumbs up as well. We will link everything in the description below. Again, I'd like to give a shout out to the people that supplied this to us. They are not paying us for this review. It's uh, A and UTV Pro. Big shout out to them. I appreciate all they, they've done for us. They are super nice people to work with. Very fast shipping, very friendly, easy to get a hold of. And there'll be a description at the end of the video uh, down below. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day. Happy trails.